Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Joni Young if you're new here, and thanks for joining me today for this step-by-step -step painting tutorial. I'm working on an eight x 10 double primed and stretched canvas. I've got a number 30 filbert brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into this painting right away, wetting the canvas down with a little bit of water first. This is gonna help me blend my acrylics a lot more easily. Just a little bit of water helps your acrylics go further. Okay, so I've got the following colors, white, neon yellow warm, pink, rose, olive green, green turquoise, cobalt blue light hue, dioxazine purple, a little bit of burnt sienna, and Mars black. What I wanna do is just start coming in with my light in the center, and I'm gonna use a little bit of white and warm yellow. I'm just gonna pull simple brush strokes straight up and down. Okay, then a little bit of rose on either side. Then I'm gonna go into my pink, right in between. take turquoise and go right across the bottom. Next color, cobalt blue, light hue. Down either side, lightly over that rose. And then we're gonna pull from each side for some shadows. Let's do that again. A little bit of blue on the end of the brush. Line it up and pull. You can turn your brush this way as well or keep it flat for wider strokes. Okay, I'm gonna wash this brush out. Now I'm using a one inch oval mop brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of my blue and my doxazine purple. And I'm going to start tapping, pushing and tapping for some trees and some bushes. I'm going to bring it in a little bit closer to the center. Load my brush up again and start on the other side. Taking a little bit more of the purple this time. We're going to bring it right across the top. Okay, the next color I'm going to take without washing my brush off is a little bit of white, a little bit more purple. Tap, tap, tap. Turning my brush this way, and then I'm going to turn it this way and start adding. Right on top, partially over where we left off. Let's just add a little bit more white and blue this time. Change the color up a little bit. When you add it, you wanna tap, tap to keep that kind of bushy shape. Now, if your mop brush gets too saturated, you won't be able to be left with these, or you won't be left with these nice foliage brush strokes or shapes. So it's important not to get it wet and you don't want to have too, too much water on your brush. And I'm just going to gently sweep and pull a little bit like this. And then I'm going to go right in the water and just pull from either side. And I'm going to use a a size one liner brush. 
gonna get it a little bit wet and I'm gonna take some purple, a little bit of dioxazine, or dioxazine purple and a little bit of burnt sienna. And I'm gonna just push, push, wiggle, bring it over, back, and make it really crooked. The idea is to have it thicker, of course, at the bottom. And then I'm just going to pull out and wiggle for the base here with a little bit more water, thin the paint out a little bit more. Hold the very tip of your brush will be so much easier. Have some branches just kind of weeping over the center here. Let's take a little bit more, come in here and add another branch. Okay, then I'm going to take some blue and purple and just tap, tap, tap. There's some little leaves that are a little bit more in silhouette. And then we have the lighter tones in the background. With a little bit of water in my brush, I'm just going to curl up some of the ends here to make them look a little bit more whimsical. And I'm going to add a little bit of green and purple right here. Dab and then just lightly drag it. Don't overwork it. Just add some hanging moss and then just a little bit more of the green. It's already a dark base, like what we've got here, we can just go straight to the, the green. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more on this side. I'm using purple with the green on this side because it's a little bit lighter. So I'm going to make it show up a little bit more. And I'll pick up that green. Barely touch. I'm not pushing. I'm just lightly flicking it on there. Once in a while, I'm completely rinsing my brush out because um, it starts to build up in the top of the brush there and it's, it can wreck the brush. So just be conscious of that. And especially if you're a slower painter, I add a little bit of moss on this side too. I think this just looks really pretty. This olive earthy green with all the other pretty colors is a nice balance. green now. I'm being really generous with my paint. It's because I'm painting wet on wet, so if you wait for it to dry, you won't need to add necessarily as much as I'm adding here. 
and we'll just add a little bit of green down at the base here. Get us some winding. Um, I picked up a little bit of blue that was wet there. I wasn't expecting that, but I like those little surprises and little happy accidents, as Bob Ross would say. It's kind of exciting part for me, and I go with it. I, I feel like it's meant to happen or something, so I kind of trust it when something like that happens that I didn't plan on. So now I've got another color here, that blue that's wet. Looks kind of pretty, like it's turning it into an emerald green, which I like. I'm going to switch over to a number eight filbert brush now. And I'm going to add a little bit of white with some turquoise. Now there's two different kinds of turquoise. I'm using the green turquoise today. It's called Bright Aqua Green by Liquitex Basics. And just because you guys are asking me all the time, I'm going to just show you. This is what it looks like. So all the colors I'm using today are by Liquite Liquitex Basics Acrylic, except for these three colors. My neon colors are always by Holbein, and I'll just show you what those look like. Holbein, and it's luminous. This is the orange. I'm, I'm not using orange today, but um, they come in a set, and you can get them on Amazon and at many fine art stores. Okay, so back to my white and my turquoise. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure that I remember to mention that because I get asked that question all the time, and I do have some videos out there too going over the brands of paint that I like. So just gentle little sweeps. A little bit more white as it gets further away. Kind of gives it a, a misty look, doesn't it? You can create more of a misty look back here by just dry brushing over some of that purple. With the turquoise works better when it's um, dry underneath so I'm gonna go ahead and just dry that off quickly and then I'll demonstrate that a little bit better for you okay so I'm gonna try that again a little bit of white or you can tint your white with a bit of turquoise or whatever color that you want and then we can just, just by thinning the paint out a little bit, we can go over and, and make it look misty back there. So this adds a little bit of mystery. It adds, adds more atmosphere to paintings. It also adds some distance, so it can help make things appear further or farther away when you soften them like that. Just make your painting look a little bit more 3D. So these branches maybe are more in the distance. We can add a little bit of mist back there too, but I don't want to disturb or disrupt anything going on that's still a little bit wet there with all that moss. And I use quite thick paint, a lot of paint back there, so I'm just going to be a bit careful. So I thought it would be nice to have um, some staircase or a staircase in here. And I'm going to use my burnt sienna and my purple for that. No water on my brush. And I think I'll just start the first step right here. About an inch and a half. Then I'm going to make it shorter. Shorter, closer together. And then pull back out this way. Maybe we'll have a little house or something, a little cabin or something up there. I'm sure glad that you guys love painting these cozy little cottages and fantasy um, landscapes with me because it's one of my favorite things to paint. So thanks for going to add a, just a little bit of grass down here and I just want to have a darker base first. So let's just take that Maybe take it a little bit darker there first, and then we can add a little bit of turquoise and olive green. Just very lightly. It's going to dry darker than that, so that's just the first base. But yeah, I'm glad you guys are enjoying these. I'm going to add a layer of this 
mossy grass stuff to the top of the stairs. Add a little bit over on this side as well. And I'm just going to bring this in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to make it look a little bit misty in there as well. Take some more turquoise. fun to incorporate a few little waterfalls in here, you know, like I love to do. So same brush, number eight, filbert, and some white, and we're just going to make up some waterfalls. Doesn't have to make sense. It's a fantasy painting. We're just going to add some coming, coming down here, and then kind of tap a few other little waterfall tears in there and then I'll add some on this side as well add a little up here down at the bottom and then a little wiggle and it's normal to have to go over them a couple times if you notice that they're kind of just fading and can't really see them well enough. Okay, so a little bit more white just on the very tip of the brush. Let's just create some little wavy squiggles here for a bit of movement. Just nothing too, too crazy, just some gentle movement. So I thought it would be neat to have um, a lamp post right about here that goes has the staircase wrapping around it and the pole or the post right through. So I'm going to take some black burnt sienna and dapsidine purple and I think I'll start it right here. You have to go over waterfall. I'm going to add a little line right here and on the top it comes out wider and then we're going to go up make a little triangle on the top I know it's hard to see because it's dark underneath but we're gonna add a wider line there and a smaller one there and then continue down here we're not really gonna see the base it's kind of hiding isn't that cool like the steps are built around it. Just 
you can see my brush out. You gotta take the time to do that so the paint doesn't wreck your brush. Even if you're going back for the same color. I'm gonna bring each side up in a little curl like that. And I'm gonna add a little bit of turquoise for a highlight. You can add any color you want to accent your lamppost. It's whatever you want it to be. I'm going to go back to my black. Make sure I have no drips. Add a little bit more slight shadow here and soften it with that green. Now we need to add a little bit of light on the stairs again. Just kind of Work around this lamppost. I don't think I've ever painted a lamppost with stairs wrapping around it. I think this is kind of a fun idea. And while we've got that color, I'm going to add a little bit of light. On this little grassy patch at the base of the tree. That black is pretty wet still, so it makes it kind of hard for me to add that one step. I'll get back to that a little later, but what I want to do is, and there's a few ways of doing this, if the paint underneath is still wet, and of course I'm starting to work on the light, the lantern itself here. So if the paint is still a little bit wet, you can work it off. And if it's dry, then you can just go ahead and add some uh, white paint. So I'm gonna take some white. I'm gonna go from the center here. And I'm going to dry this all off and then I'll be able to add more highlights and our next layer of color in the lamp. Okay, so I'm going to come in with some white and a little bit of warm yellow. I can add this now because it's all dry. I'm going to warm it up a little bit more at the top and around the sides and then add a little bit more white in the center for the light. Now I'm going to take, without washing my brush off, a little bit of that light olive green in there mixed with the yellow and the white. And I'm going to add Few more lines here, light for my steps. And I'm going to add some rose-colored flowers down here, maybe going up the tree. So we already have some green in here for some leaves. 
and a dark base underneath so it works well. And we can take a little bit of white in with it. And just add a few little highlights here. have a few areas here along the side that have some purple flowers. It's kind of a purpley color when it's over top of the blue. I'm going to mix the blue up along with it. And then add a little bit of white. Okay, back over to my number one liner brush, black. And going right across. And we're going to go down on an angle. And then bring the line through. Because it's still a little bit wet underneath. I picked up a bit of the warm yellow. So if you need to dry yours off first, go ahead and do that. Just adding some more shadows and some contrast. It works as both, a little bit of black here. I'm going to take a bit of white with my turquoise this time, just lighten it a little bit. I'm going to add a few little lights in the water, little lights or flowers. It's just a little bit of um, the white with the warm yellow. You can make them into little water lilies too, just by pulling out a few little lines and scoops here, just for some petals. And make it look like they just go on and on and on. We're adding lots closer together. And then just to make it look like they're glowing even more, I'll just 
kind of dry brush and wiggle around. So it kind of creates that hazy glowing look. And then for a little bit of depth and a little base, maybe a little indication of a lily pad here and there, some purple, light olive green. And another layer of light olive green with a little bit of white. Drag. It'll shuffle just a little bit better. You can even have some, you know, hanging over part of that lampshade. A little bit more light there. Just scoop up some purple and add it to the bottom of the step. And then I'm just going to make this step come on a little bit further here. And a little bit of turquoise in here and here. So it kind of looks like that lap post, the base of it, like it just keeps going, right? Right through the stairs. I'm gonna take some turquoise and some blue. And I'm going to add oh, just a little bit more of the turquoise in there. Add some leaves, a bit more of a cool tone. And then turquoise kind of just going off the edge there. And a little bit here and there. And burnt sienna. Just add a little bit of that on the tree. Okay, I'm going to call this painting all done. This was really fun. I'm glad you guys wanted to stop by today and join me and paint along with me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more and join Patreon. Thanks for watching again and I'll see you next time in another video. Bye!